everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video is going to be a Sephora sale recommendations video. Um, the sale does start this week with the first weekend for VIB Rouge being the sixth, I'm sorry, the 13th through the 16th. And then next weekend will be for everybody else, including Rouge again. Um, so that will be the 20th through the 23rd. I will have listed down below all the codes that you need to use if you're going to be shopping online and I will have the dates um, for your sale. Okay, so I really don't have these in any particular order. I did try to keep them kind of categorized together. Um, but one of the first things that I definitely recommend is this brush cleaner. I love this stuff so much. It is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. Um, this bottle right here is $24 um, and it is eight fluid ounces. Now it does come, it does come with this little tin right here um, that you can pour in. All you need is just a little bit. Uh, put your brush in, dab it, and then wipe it off on a cloth and it quick dries. So this is what I use on my brushes um, during the week and then I deep clean my brushes every Sunday. So I will be picking up a big size of this. Um, this does have a very strong scent. So if you are not good with scents, this I would not recommend for you. Um, but it does kind of have like a, a vanilla scent that it leaves afterwards. Um, so the next item, and I have heard so many good things about it, um, is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. Um, I think they are normally like, let's see, 165 sheets is like $10, so you'll take 15% off of that. I've heard they are super, super soft, and of course, to save money, a lot of people cut them in half, so I will be looking into that. Okay, so as far as lip products go, um, the first item I have is the Tarte Lip Facial Lip Scrub from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. As you can see, mine is kind of sideways because it's well-loved. Um, but this runs for $16. This is a really nice lip scrub. I, um, I like the way this feels in the lips. You can definitely feel it working. Um, it has kind of like a minty smell to it, minty taste as well. Um, but I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good lip scrub. Uh, my lips do get really, really dry, so I like to do that once a week to, to clear up my lips a little bit. Um, the next item we have is the Tarte Quench Lip Rescue. This is also from Rainforest of the Sea. Mine is in the color Nude. Um, this runs for $19. I love this so much. It feels really, really good on the lips. Um, and it also gives it a nice little hint of color, um, but it does keep my lips nice and moisturized. They do have other colors if you want a little bit more um, shade to your lips. They have like coral and cherry, berry, rose, um, opal, but I just prefer the nude one. and. This kind of got like a minty smell to it as well. Now, if you're looking for a good lip gloss, I do have two for you guys that I recommend. The Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. Um, this runs for $18. Uh, it is, I believe, the only lip gloss on her line right now. I am wearing it on my lips as we speak. And I love this lip gloss. This thing lives in my purse. Um, at first, I wasn't really too sure about it, but it is such a universal color. It is absolutely beautiful, and I think it looks gorgeous on anybody. So, highly recommend this for the sale. Um, I also recommend the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. Now, I I would not say that you have to go out and get the full size ones. Right now, they do have um, kind of like a kit. Uh, it is the Marc Jacobs Beauty. Um, with Shine Volume 2 through 4 Piece Mini Lip Gloss Collection. Oof, that's a mouthful. Um, but it's $32, and you do get four shades of these. These are going to last you quite some time. Um, and I just think that is a really, really good price. I love the way that these feel. These kind of have like, oh my gosh, I don't know, like a minty smell to them too. But I love these so much, and this is just another lip gloss that I highly recommend. If you are interested in trying the Marc Jacob lips, lip glosses, I definitely suggest the kits. Those are a really great buy. You definitely get to try four different shades. Um, in this shade that I am talking about, you get Sugar Sugar, Love Buzz, Some Girls, and Make Me. 
All right, so uh, one more lip kit for you guys. It is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. Um, I did do a review on this. They have a new one that just came out. Um, these run for $28. You always get a full one, at least one full size lipstick in the box. Some of them come with two. Um, it depends on the kit itself, but this is a great way to try out new brands of lipsticks, new colors of the brands that you are curious to trying. Um, I just think these are a really great value. I always do a review of them on my channel. So um, the one I have right here, I have a video on and I will have that link down below for you guys. Okay, so next we have some face cleaners. Um, this is, the first thing I recommend is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Uh, the standard size is 3.8 ounces and it is $29.50. I love this stuff. You literally just take it on your hands and you rub it all over your face. It's safe for your eyes. It does not burn. Um, and then you just kind of take a wet cloth and you wipe it off your face and it removes everything. I love this stuff so, so much. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good makeup remover. Um, you don't really want to use like makeup removing wipes, then this is going to be your go-to. Um, if you're not into cleansing balms, uh, this is a gel. It is the Tarte Deep Dive Cleansing Gel from Rainforest of the Sea. Uh, it is for $25. I love this stuff as well. If I don't feel like doing the balm and I want to remove my makeup in the shower, um, this is the stuff that I use. And once again, it removes everything. It's safe on the eyes. Um, it does not sting. Smells really, really good. So um, this is a great uh, makeup remover as well. So for skincare, um, I really, really enjoy this mask. This is an overnight mask from Philosophy. It's called Renewed Hope in a Jar Overnight Recharging and Refining Moisturizer for $49. I love this stuff. It smells so good. And it just, when I wake up, my skin feels so soft. I just really like the way that my skin looks like uh, what my skin looks like in the mornings after I have worn this um, so I highly highly recommend this if you are looking for a mascara one of my favorite all-time go-to mascaras um, is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara highly highly recommend this all right, so for eyeshadow palettes, I have a couple here that I highly recommend um, that you get if you are interested, definitely during this sale. Um, the first one being the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This has become one of my favorite palettes very, very quickly. It's definitely one of the palettes I have always been reaching for first as of lately, um, but these colors are just so stunning. This is an everyday palette. Um, you can make a great night look with this. I do have the, on, this on my eyes today. I did just a really quick look um, because I just finished filming Friday's video, which is, by the way, going to be super exciting. So make sure you tune in. But yes, I highly recommend this. $42 Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, next, this actually was just released at Sephora. It was originally only on Beautylish, which that's where I purchased mine. Um, but is the Vizzy Art Traced Palette. And these colors are just beautiful springtime colors. I love this palette so much. The colors practically blend themselves. And this... All these shades are absolutely gorgeous. So if you were interested in this palette, um, I would say definitely go ahead and pick that up. Um, now this is a $49 palette. Um, that's why I do suggest it during the sale. All right, so two things from Huda Beauty. Um, if you want to make that splurge, I definitely say go for the Desert Dust Palette. This palette is gorgeous. The shades in here are super stunning and easy to work with. I love this palette so much, um, but it is a little bit more expensive. Uh, so if you do want to try Huda Beauty, but you haven't ever tried her palettes before, I would say pick up the little Obsession Palette. Um, these run for $27. They are full-size eyeshadows, so the 
only thing that is smaller is the packaging itself. Um, there are four different shades. Of course, there's the mauve. Um, there is the warm brown. There is the smoky. And then there is the electric palette. I highly suggest the mauve palette. I seem to have gotten more use out of this than I have the other ones. Um, but they are all equally nice. I just pull for this more out of the ones that I bought. So these are the two from Huda Beauty. And then, of course... I love this palette so much and um, this will always probably be in a recommendations video. This is the Tartlet and Bloom palette, um, but these colors are so nice, are so, so pretty. I love this palette so much and uh, it still smells so good. I love it. So that is it for the eyeshadow palettes. If you are looking for a good moisturizer, I highly recommend the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. <clears throat> now this is just a sample size, but it is an excellent, excellent moisturizer. Um, it does run $38. I will be picking one up for myself, and it just really just brings that moisture right back into life. And it, the smell is really nice too as well. This is one of my top moisturizers along with, now this one is definitely more expensive, um, but I have like 20 of these little guys, so I'm not going to be picking this up during a sale. It is the Sunday Riley um, C plus E Protect Repair and Moisturizer. This stuff feels so good on the skin. Um, and it does kind of smell, I wanna say like oranges, kind of got like an oranges smell to it. Um, but I love this just as much as I do this one. So if you are looking to save money, I would definitely say go with the belief. Um, but if you want to splurge and you like the smell of oranges, then I would say go with this one. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Um, I love all these products so so much i definitely have my list going for my purchases um so leave a comment down below is there anything in this video that you are super interested in is there anything not in this video that you are interested in i would love to know what you guys are interested in so just leave that comment down below um, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, and I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.